What these are for is for wiring in hypnotic language patterns into your brain. So we're going to be using a deck of the cards at, after lunch today and tomorrow on some of the other modules too, just to continue wiring these patterns in. Now, the power of using cards for this is deceptively uh, powerful. Um, the reason we do it like this is, A, because we have them. Uh, just there is fine. Perfect. Yeah, thank you. Uh, no, the reason, reason we use cards Partly is because that's one of the main ways I learned this stuff, and it was really good. The reason it's really good is because, several reasons. First of all, you get a multi-sensory experience of it. You get the visual of looking at the pattern, the auditory of hearing the pattern, and you know, you've got something you can hang on to. But also, you're, what, you're, what I'm going to invite you to do is to, you're going to read out the card in full when it's your turn. You're going to read out a card in full. And then you're going to generate a pattern using the pattern on the card. So this is the I wouldn't tell you to because card. Now, I'll read it out in full just so you can hear what that's like. I wouldn't tell you to, so you don't need to resist against it. And just to make sure, I'll give you a reason. People love reasons, as you'll recall. Uh, I wouldn't tell you to enjoy the process of going into trance, because it goes without saying that you will. I wouldn't tell you to relax the muscles in your arms and legs because it's up to you how you prepare to go into trance. I wouldn't tell you to practice these patterns repeatedly because you can choose for yourself how best to integrate them. Now, when you tell someone you wouldn't tell them to do something, it lets their polarity response know that they don't have to worry because you're not going to tell them to do it. And then you tell them anyway. See, in order to understand the sentence, they need to imagine doing, on some level, what you're describing to them. And of course, once someone imagines something, because of the goal-seeking seeking nature of our neurology, we start to move towards it. So if I want to get you to really enjoy playing these cards, I could say, really enjoy playing with these cards. But then you'll go, yeah, fuck you, pal. Uh, or you might do. You might not. You might just go, well, I'll make up my own mind about that. But if I say to you, I wouldn't tell you to really enjoy playing with these cards because you're going to make your own mind up about how to relate to them. Uh, but a person could enjoy these cards if they wanted to. After all, you may already have started to become aware of the sense of enjoyment you can feel whenever you start something you haven't done before. Uh, I'm certainly not going to say try to resist feeling a sense of amazing enjoyment for no good reason when you're playing these cards, because you might think I was up to something if I said that. But you could enjoy playing with the cards because there's no reason not to. It's up to you, of course. You know, the funny thing is, you may already have started to notice your changes in awareness as you start to consider how you can learn in new ways with, you know, something you may not have done before. Uh, maybe you haven't played with these cards yet. You can already probably imagine how much fun you can have, you know, when you start to do it in a minute. I wonder if you've already started to notice that I'm messing with you a bit. But it's fun. <laughs>